Arc Runner is a cyberpunk style arcade shooter set in a world where AI has gone rogue, and it's up to you, the lone Arc Runner, to salvage this chaos, traverse the arc, and destroy it. Arc Runner is a fun and addictive shooter, and I got the chance to play this title shortly before its release. This video will serve as my official review of Arc Runner, and my goal here is to provide you with a high level overview of the game, its gameplay, core mechanics, and at the end of this review, I'll give you my rating and let you know if I think you should give it a try or not. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Arc Runner is set in a futuristic world and the station or arc you are on is infected with a metavirus. This virus takes over all other AI and you must locate the source and reset it using the quantum backup drive. This sounds easy enough, but every AI on the station will try and kill you as you carry out your mission. Arc Runner is available to play on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Microsoft Windows PC. When you start Arc Runner, you can choose between one of the three classes, Soldier, Ninja, or Hacker. The latter will be accessible as you progress throughout the game, and each class has its own unique abilities and playstyle. Now my favorite class to play with was the Ninja. The levels are relatively short, but there are a ton to get through that increase in difficulty as you progress through them. At the end of each level, you'll have to choose between several different upgrades to improve your chances of surviving the next levels. Now, your survival is of the utmost importance because when you die, you will re-atomize and will start the game over completely. This is both a gift and a curse because as you complete the levels, you will earn nanites, which can be used to purchase additional upgrades, and these upgrades will help to enhance your abilities and help you live much longer. The catch is, these abilities can only be upgraded upon your death. I enjoyed playing Arc Runner, although constantly restarting in the early stages can become a bit discouraging and repetitive. One thing I did notice is the developers did try to switch things up a bit, so you may encounter the same level, but in reverse, or you may be provided with a different objective than you had during your last playthrough, and this is just enough to help the levels not feel too redundant. Now, once I got the hang of the game's core mechanics, I did begin to enjoy it. Instead of feeling discouraged every time I died, I began to get excited because I had stored up so many nanites that my next playthrough through would be greatly improved. You'll also need to be mindful of your weapon choices and pick the best tool for the job. I'd recommend experimenting to find out which combination suits you best. I personally like to use the Thunderbolt. It's a weapon that fires a beam of lightning that allows me to hit multiple targets at once. There are also challenges and boxes you can find throughout the levels. Now, once you've defeated all of the enemies, take some time to walk around and explore the map. You can complete challenges to gain rewards such as health or armor, which can be vital to your survival. Currently, there isn't a PvP option for this game, but you can jump into Arc Runner with several of your friends and work together to complete the game. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to test this feature out just because I had an early release copy of the game, but I do think it's a perfect addition to any arcade shooter like this. Now, I personally would have just loved to hop on and fend off the AI robot hordes with a friend or two. Arc Runner is a very good looking game with an aesthetic that is generally pleasing to the eye. I played Arc Runner using my Xbox Series X console and I think it ran very well and looked beautiful. But this is a game that's also designed to run on the base Xbox One, so the developers aren't going to be pushing the envelope visually. But Arc Runner style gets the job done. The game's cyberpunk s aesthetic fits perfectly with the story they are telling here and it was a good choice in my opinion. My only gripe throughout my playthrough is the camera. It's perfectly fine while the enemies are in front of you, but if you happen to get too close or get stuck in a corner, you'll have a hard time seeing yourself. Now, this only happened on a few occasions, but it's still pretty annoying to happen when you're in the middle of a life or death gunfight. So hopefully this is something the development staff can patch in the future. Arc Runner is a very solid game for what it is, and I did enjoy my time playing it and plan to continue progressing through its many levels even after this review. Now, I've decided to give Arc Runner a score of 8 out of 10. It's a really fun game that looks great, encourages replayability, and I encourage you to play it for yourself and give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Are you excited about Arc Runner? Is this one that you are ready or starting to play? Let me know by leaving a comment below this video. While you're down there, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. And if you'd like any more content from us in the meantime, check out one of the two videos appearing on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.